If you're like me, you love the GR3, but maybe one thing's bugging you. It's bugging me, and that was the, the RAW plus JPEG workflow. I like how the JPEGs look, but I want to adjust them, and so I want to work in RAW. So this is about a RAW workflow for the GR3. So applying profiles later inside of Lightroom. Keep watching, it's gonna be a good one. One thing that was missing from my Ricoh GR3 workflow was being able to edit the RAW files and make them look the same as the JPEG files. Because I, I don't like to edit the JPEG files that come from the camera because you just don't get the same kind of flexibility with the JPEG. So what I wanted to do was get some kind of a profile where I could edit the RAW files to make them look just exactly how I wanted to. So I found this website yesterday, Perfect Film, and they make profiles for many different kinds of cameras. So if we look at Lightroom profiles here, we'll see that there is some for Ricoh. And we have a choice of GR3 or GR2. Let's look at the GR3. So we have um, Lightroom profiles um, to simulate the Ricoh GR3's um, image control. Okay, so down here we, we have all of these ones. So in the package, we get these. And the price of these are $9.99, which I think is quite a reasonable price, actually. So let's go into Lightroom and see exactly what they look like. So I have two images here. The one on the left is the DNG, the RAW file, and the one on the right is the JPEG. Obviously, when, when we shoot, um, if we're using the, um, an image control, we see that image on the back of the screen. And I always find it a bit disheartening when I'm editing RAW files because at the moment, the RAW file is showing the preview from the, from, from the JPEG. If we take this raw file into the develop module by hitting D, watch what happens. Straight away, that black and white preview has been replaced by the color version. So the raw file is now using the Adobe Color profile. If I want to make this image look like the originally intended version, which is this is the JPEG, it's very difficult. I can do a um, a black and white conversion so this is using Adobe monochrome now and I mean it's, it's okay but it's just not the same if, if we zoom in you know it's not the same I and mean, yes we we can spend time tweaking the 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 values but I never found a solution now let me show you the perfect film profile let's go back to color first okay so back in color so if I I've saved a few of the favorite ones here. So we now have a choice. Uh, let me actually go down and show you the perfect film ones here. Rico GR3 perfect film. So these, this is what comes inside of the package that you buy for 9.99. Black and white standard, black and white hard, black and white high, soft, the positive, retro, standard, vivid, and then we can keep going down retro. And then the BB Cool. Many different options here. But the ones I'm interested in are the ones that I've starred. Because these are the ones that I like to shoot in. I like to shoot in the in the in the the high contrast. I like to shoot in, in hard. If we select hard for this one, close it. Now we can compare this to the original JPEG. This is the original J this was the original JPEG and this is the raw. If I zoom in, see there's there's a very slight difference, but not nothing too noticeable. I notice it more around the edge of the frame. The profile seems to darken the edge of the frame a little bit. Which of course we could probably um, rectify using the the vignette 
if it's too much. So yeah, I like to be able to go into these profiles and then like, for example, using the high contrast. Sometimes I, I think too much detail is lost with the high contrast conversion. So I like to actually open this up a bit. You can actually use the auto. So now this is kind of between the two. This is how I like it to look. Um, so yeah, th th these these profiles for me have been a game changer because it lets me create raw files that actually are editable and I can get the result that I want. So let's go back to a shoot I did yesterday and look at the results of some of these um, conversions. I'm pretty sure these folks are not photographers. <laughs> no, you don't get one of those being a photographer, do you? Hmm. The pattern here, the pattern that goes like this, I like that. Quick tip, I have my focus set from one meter to about six meters. What happens if you all of a sudden want to photograph something closer, but you don't have time to change the mode? Well, you can just tap on the screen, the focus, and that's it. And now the focus has moved, so we have to change modes and change back. We have some very old, well, quite old houses here and then the new apartment, well, newish apartments here. So old and new. Let's see what we can get.
Going this way, lines going that way. Black and white, gonna be good. Breakfast time. All of those images were processed using the Perfafine profiles. And you know, it's a solution to a problem that I've been looking at for a long time. I really, it was really bugging me that I couldn't make the raw files look just how I wanted to. So, if you like them, go and check them out. I'll leave a link in the description and I'll see you in the next video. And as always, guys, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, like this video and leave some comments below. See you in the next one.